What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing some BC coilovers on my 2018 Subaru WX. These are the BR series coilovers. And actually, if you watched my last coilover install video with the BMW, I got the extreme lows. And with this car, I decided to just go with the standard springs, I guess, just standard setup. Um, just cause I want it to be dailyable. I want the WX to be functional. So we just, we didn't go with the extreme lows. We went just the regular ones. But yeah, this is what they look like. It should drop it a pretty good amount. I don't want it too, too low. Maybe just about like an inch above the tire. Um, I might go lower once I put the wheels on. Ooh, I can show y'all a sneak peek of what wheels I got. Y'all will see it in the next video, but here you go. All right, that's a little sneak peek. All right, I'm gonna pull the WX in to the shop and then we can start taking the wheels off. Here's the height right now, so y'all can have a before and after. It's about, it's about three fingers from the top of the tire. And then in the back, it's about the same, about three fingers. All right guys, so now that we have the wheels off, I'm gonna start unbolting these two bolts first. And before I take these out, you're gonna wanna undo this brake line and disconnect this ABS. You just have to get some needle nose pliers and like pop this off. Okay, so I also forgot to say the sizes. These two bolts are 19s, and this one back here for the brake line is a 12. All right, so now we're gonna lower the brake caliper. Oh, there you go, and it's out. So now we just need to unscrew it from the top. So we're gonna pop the hood real quick. All right, so now we're gonna unbolt these on the top, and it should just fall out. All right guys, so the stock springs are out and this is the difference of how they look. As you can tell, BC's looks a lot nicer and more high quality. So now we're gonna start just putting it back in. We gotta get them like kind of to come through the top. All right guys, the coilover is in, so now we just gotta turn it to kind of face the way of this. There you go, now we'll have to lift this up with the jack into here. All right guys, the coilover is all in, so now we just need to put this ABS back in here. It's pretty easy, it just clicks in, then I'll put this 12 millimeter bolt back in here. And there you go, that brake line is tight. It's all in. So now we're gonna do the other side and then drop it down and see how much we need to adjust. All right guys, the coilovers are in and we have the tires on, so now we're just gonna drop it down to see where it sits. two fingers I think at the start of the video I showed you guys there's three so it's about two right now so I think just a little bit of adjustment we could get it looking right all right guys so we have the wheel off now so I'm gonna take about maybe like half an inch 
of thread just to go up and then we'll see how that sits. So I've moved this collar right here half an inch up and now I'm gonna move this to the left to go down. All right guys, we have the wheel off, so now we're gonna start by undoing these three bolts. And the sizes of these three bolts, this one is a 17, this one's a 17, and this one back here is a 16. All right, now that we have everything out of the trunk, the bolts to the coilover are right here. So we're just gonna get to those. So the front and the back bolts of the top are different. So the front is a 12 and the back is a 14. All right guys, we got the stock spring out and here's the BC coil over right next to it. Looks really good, so now now that we got the stock one out, we're gonna go and start putting the BC one back in. All right, so it's about... It's about two fingers now, so I think I'm just gonna lower this one about the same as the front, half an inch, and then see how that sits. Seems like the front looks pretty good, so I think the back will look just as good like that. So here is how it looks. Is the front. And then Here's how the back looks. The back's actually pretty low. But something weird about these coilovers, I will say like that y'all should know about is we, we literally put them to the same height and one, this side of the car is about a quarter inch like taller than the other side. And I had that happen with my BMW too. So I don't really know what that's about. So I'm probably, since it's nighttime, I want to get some good pictures in the day. So I'll probably pick this up tomorrow and show you guys what like the final height will look like. What's up guys? So it's been a couple weeks since I've lowered it. And since then I went a little bit lower, probably about half an inch and I actually got it aligned. So I'm gonna show you guys the final height. It's right above the tire. I think it looks really good. That's like exactly where I wanted it. Cause I did say I still want this as a daily, but I think this height just looks great. It's literally perfect, just not even a finger. And the only thing wrong pretty much is this side was a quarter inch, pretty much a quarter inch higher, maybe a little more. So this side is like lowered more than the other. So it's kind of weird. It's pretty much the same though. But I don't know why that would happen with these coilovers, but that's just one thing to know, I guess, about these BC coilovers. And that actually happened on my BMW too, like I said. So just know that. I don't I don't know if it's maybe a problem with the installation or uh, I'm not sure, maybe they're broken or something. I don't know. They seem pretty fine. They're, they're going pretty good. I'm actually getting some clunking in the front right, which is kind of weird. So I'm gonna have to check on that. And as you can see, it doesn't really fit a finger. It's kind of just perfectly on the top of the tire, which I think looks really good. And it's it's kind of hard to look at, but there's a little bit of camber, which I think looks really good. And it's gonna help me fit some bigger wheels on this car. So I'm pretty happy with that little bit of rear camber. But yeah, that's how it looks. The Tome is actually pretty low. I had to take it to like three different alignment shops because they couldn't fit it on the rack. 
because the Tomei kept getting really close. But eventually we got some wind and got it up there. So I was able to get it aligned. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the coilover install video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I actually plan on putting some new wheels on this car in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.